Rhino is uh, short for the River North Art District, uh, and it is an art district that's sort of bounded by I-25, I-70, Park Avenue, and Larimer. It's a section of North Denver that was neglected, abused, and forgotten for years that has now come back with a great bent for the arts and really seeing a revitalization of the area. Rhino to me is, it's one of the more exciting art districts because the focus is more on making, more of making the art as opposed to galleries where you can go see amazing art. Here we have uh, workshops, we have artist collectives, we do have galleries, but they're usually associated with the particular artist. So you get more of a connection with the art that you can find in the River North District than you can in a lot of the others. I think a, a bunch of like-minded, creative, artistic, handcrafting um, sort of people and people that are taking a very intelligent approach to what they do and a very deliberate approach to what they do. It's really where the, the creative class and the contemporary ideas are happening and what's particular about it is that it's sort of across mediums and so not only do you have visual artists but you have performance artists, you have architects, you have designers. It embodies kind of this convergence of art and commerce, uh, big ideas, entrepreneurship. Uh, it's a place where um, artists live, work, um, collect, uh, and really, uh, really make, make their mark in the city. It was started in 2005. Uh, we wanted to try to, you know, replicate kind of what the Santa Fe Art District was doing and be able to bring more people to the district. We came up with sort of the branding and marketing for uh, coining the phrase Rhino. Uh, one of our members, Sharon Brown, coined the phrase, where art is made. Uh, so that's kind of how we kind of came up with that slogan, which really seemed to suit the district because there are a lot of artisans here that are, you know, in their studios, they're making work, that kind of thing. Where art is made. Well, I'm between numerous places in Rhino similar to Wazoo Union, you have all these people who have come out of their basements, garages, living rooms, and are now doing their art in these older buildings that now have a new life, and are doing great creative things, some of it on their own, some of it collaboratively. You know, there's a lot of variety down here, and there's a lot of exploration. You know, and I think uh, risk takers, because it's a more risky neighborhood, you might say. Uh, well, I don't know what's so risky about it, it just looks different. This is a place where artists would come to have their corner of the world to make their work that was then shown other places. And I think that, you know, that tagline is still really pertinent. It, it, it's a space, you know, it's, it's an area where there is space to to build something, to let your vision expand into reality. And it's exciting that it's also becoming a place where that art is seen instead of being a, an export-based uh, arts economy in the, in the district. As far as like where art is made and the idea that it's living, breathing, one of the interesting things that I've found about it, even in the, in the last six years, is that the array of artists is really cool. It's not just hoity-toity art stuff. It's not hoity-toity art walk. It's Great artists, like Plinth is a really professional gallery. Tracy's Place is cool, Ironton's cool. But we also have like down dirt level kid artists who are spray painting and have stuff in their backpack. And I think that's really important. That's one of the reasons I think it's such a cool district. It hasn't, it hasn't committed to evolve into one type of art or one level or echelon of art. It's really inviting to every single level. I've always felt like the artists that are up in this area push harder than other places. You know, we, we just did a collaboration with a really cool street artist and he, you know, he's got a full day job and it pays him well and everything, but it's not what he wants to be doing. And so the guy almost doesn't sleep because he wants to create art and he feels it in his, you know, running through his veins and, and super convicted about it. I feel like that is the same for so many people up here is that it's not like, it's not a side project and it's not a, uh, it's not a hobby. It's a way of life and it's an absolute must express myself creatively kind of feeling. Rhino I think is a, is a tagline. Rhino itself is a moniker that kind of sits over this area. I mean this area was really a place where artists came. 
they did make their work. They uh, also gravitated to this area because they wanted to make work that was a little bit off the beaten path. Whatever is happening down here, it is special. And a tagline or not, it, it's, I see it happening because I'm out and I go to things. And so, so to me, I know that that tagline is true because I know 10 artists in this neighborhood. I definitely believe instead of talking about where art is made, I'd like to show it. It's where art is made. Oh, I've been living here for 15 years in Rhino. I saw the building and I just, I wasn't even looking to buy a building. I'd never owned a building. I wasn't really looking. And I saw this building from a distance and I knew what I was going to do inside and uh, have done that inside and uh, been happy living here. My commute is, you know, up a flight of stairs, so <laughs> it's, it's the ideal commute, I think. I love working in Rhino, you know, I can have a live workspace where, you know, I can be messy in my studio and I can leave it and, you know, come into the kitchen and, you know, cook dinner or whatever I want to do. I built this building because I wanted a space that was flexible, that, you know, one day I could have a poetry reading, the next day I could have family over, you know, for Thanksgiving. Being an artist for most of my life, um, I have seen the challenges that artists face and knew that there was a step missing for the artists in their career. And I founded Redline, which is an artist residency program here, as well as bringing community and education together to make everybody stronger. I'm a 17-year veteran up here in the Rhino District on Upper Larimer. Well, I just decided to go big. Love life, listen to music, open the doors, people pop in and say hello, so there's a nice community involved, and you know, it's a really nice and enjoyable thing to do. And I think that arts is an important thing, and Denver's really becoming quite a good artistic community. I am a milliner, which is a maker of ladies' hats. I love that there are so many other creatives around here whether it's you know, artists or craftspeople or the restaurateur who has a chef who's trying incredibly new dishes or the artisan coffee roasters that we have here or the breweries or the distilleries. I mean, everybody is very creative in this area. There's just a heartbeat, there's a feeling, there's a soul to this neighborhood that I love. It's a little bit of an empty canvas or a new frontier. Everyone's opted in, and they've opted in because they're into art, they're into music, they're actually doing it. So that's where you sort of get your fierce, individualistic sort of um, community. There's just a really great bunch of people here that really care about this area, and they want to help create something that's special and unique for Denver. To me, the coolest part about this neighborhood right now is that for some reason the artists have dug in and they show on the walls and even when people come in from out of town there's graffiti walls that are designated for artists and I think that's a really cool thing because it's, it's just it looks cool around here you know it's not just a bunch of empty warehouses or buildings there's art on the walls and and big murals everywhere and I think that's super cool. There's still a raw grit to it you know it's not polished and it's not homogenized and pasteurized like a lot of neighborhoods have become and it's I think it's a little wilder um, and a little rougher, but not in a dangerous way, in sort of a <laughs> hellraiser kind of way. 